Hello guys and welcome to another little drive on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, on this one I've installed a train trailer pack. Uh, I can't use it myself till I get to level 10 I suppose. But we may see some of them on the trucks as we drive past them. So let's find somewhere to go to. Uh, won't go for a massive route today, it's funny. Uh, we'll pick somewhere fairly short, that way then the video isn't too long, I suppose. So we'll have... We'll deliver some peace. This is a resting place, but you are not tired. <coughs> not tired right now. <laughs> Good. Nice to know I'm not tired. <laughs> Ooh, that's a shiny car. Down there. Hmm. Looks like we got some new cars in the pack as well. Okay, so. Let's try and sneak out without hitting anyone. Not put it all off. That's good. And yep, yeah, red light. Tell me coming. So the trailer mod is from Jazzy Cat. Uh, first time I tested it in 1.9.22. So we shall basically have a look at the traffic, see if the trailer show up anywhere, and see if the mod's working. Once we get out of all these red lights. Come on, move, thank you. Let's get rid of these before they change colour. Ah, Peter. Right, it's so all like I was saying. I haven't tried this pack before. Well, not since the updates have started. So we shall see whether it works, whether it glitches, whether it bugs. Does it do anything to affect the AI? There goes one. Up and we can have a better look. Right, also, I was thinking of uh, doing other videos as well, apart from Euro Truck. Uh, I've got two I was thinking of working on. Uh, one is a train simulator, the other one is a farming simulator. Uh, the train simulator is Train Simulator 2014. And the farming simulator is uh, farming simulator 2013. Uh, I've got plenty of DLC for the train simulator if anybody wants to see that. So what I'm suggesting is that you choose which one you want and write it down in the comment section. You know, I want to see train simulator, then obviously you put down. Yes, if you want to see farming simulator, then you put down FS. Or you can just put down 2013 or 2014. Uh, at some point, I may 
still of a different simulator. But for now, I was thinking of working on one of us too. So, stick it in the comment section which one do you want to see? Train simulator or farming simulator? At least it will give us a break from always truck driving all the time and being stuck at the junctions. Man, it never ended. Whichever one you choose, either train simulator or farming simulator, I will try and make a complete series starting from scratch. If it's farming simulator you choose, uh, I have a pretty large farm which I can stick back on. It's the latest of the My name slipped out of my head now, but it's version 4, Pleasant Valley, that's it. Version 4 of Pleasant Valley. Uh, that new map consists of... They've taken away the ATV course and replaced it with a gold mining section where you can basically grab some gravel, grab some sand, grab some water, stick it in a little panning factory and from there it produces gold, you can take the gold to the bank and get paid. The water you can pick up for free. The entrance to the gravel building you've got to pay £100,000 for so I'd have to work up to that. shouldn't take too long, we can just empty a couple of fields and we're done, aren't we? Especially the size of those fields. So, if you want to see me panning for gold and... farming bird seed, growing poppies, and other various weird bits and bats, then choose farming simulator. If you want to see me driving up and down the country, uh, or up and down Germany, America, um, anywhere like that, then choose Train Simulator. Uh, but I'm happy whichever one you choose. I will do a video on that. And for those that don't get their choice, well, I'll make that series a little bit later as well. So that way it keeps everybody happy. So if you want to see your favourite out of those two first, stick it in comments and I will work on the series. Right, so back to this. Uh, like I said, it's the Jazzy Cat uh, trailer pack. It includes both trailer and vehicles. So far it doesn't seem to have done anything adverse to the artificial intelligence. Well we've only just started so we'll find out soon enough. As per usual. The worst parts to watch out for are probably roundabouts where we keep getting rammed. But it's hoping that everything works okay. Right, so, uh, as I said earlier, I'm on 1.9.22 now, and I will post the patch notes and the links to Steam and SCS software, as well as a link to the 
Jesse Cat trailer pack in the description below this. <laughs> few days since I uploaded anything, uh, mainly because I had a headache and a couple of nights ago I stood my foot on the bedroom door. So it feels like I've broken a few toes every time I put pressure on it. It stings quite a bit. And yeah, I'm back on here with foot pedals. <laughs> really helps, doesn't it? But we'll keep going. <laughs> no pain, no gain as you say. If my foot drops off, then I'll just switch from YouTube to right foot all the time. Apart from that, nothing new has happened. Uh, life's still the same. It still rains where I am. It's like an idiot marketing calls every five minutes. You, you know, the usual stuff. Oh, okay, that's boring enough. Let's try something different. Let's try driving. Oh yes, I've uh, disabled the police as well, so that I can reach destinations faster. Yes, I know it's cheating. But all the police did was just sit on their backside and you know, and just watch your proof speed cameras and issue tickets that way. So, I decided to become mayor of the Planning to Bureau truck and I suspended the police. <laughs> what I'm going to do with all the police officers who's been suspended is eventually I will buy a carriage and I will employ all those police officers. So they won't feel so let down for not issuing me with speeding tickets. That seems fair enough, doesn't it? Sorry you got fired here, come and work for me. <laughs> uh, st uh, still on a low level truck. Can't really, can't really upgrade the engine or anything like that till that level 10. So, I'll probably do a few more deliveries off camera, try and get up a little bit. So we can start making some interesting runs with some interesting cargo as well. As well as the train trailer pack, I'm also thinking of sticking on the military cargo pack as well. Yeah, let's see if I can take a few tanks here and there. But I'm not going to do that till I get a really powerful engine because just like the trains, some of those are extremely heavy. And well, basically this engine wouldn't do it. It wouldn't even get up that hill. It is quite literally the lowest engine you can get in game, <laughs> especially on Scania. I know a few of us probably have lower engines. And everybody's loving. Oh, what's going on here? Make your mind up, boys. I'm just coasting behind you. stop for some reason. Don't know why. It's because I've still got these on. Then. That's lovely. Well that could be a bit of a problem there then, could it? Anything behind me? Good. Hmm.
way, there's nobody move. Press a button because you won't move. That one's crossed. Hmm? Nope, it is not working. Can we do this? Nope. percent of a chassis, 34 to the cabin, only 8 to the wheels, 13 to the transmission and 21 to the engine. Um, cost a fair bit. Ok, can we upgrade the engine or anything? No, level 8 the next upgrade. So we're 3 levels away. Ok, so let's give ourselves a new paint job. What do we have? I say we go for the... Mm, I don't know. Now they're going to... Grim Reaper doesn't look that good. The wolf looks nice. Um, the polar bear is pity it's on the upper head. Okay. Wolf. There we go. Low air pressure. Lovely. Okay. Still very neutral. Go wet up a little bit. Should be. Let's take a little bit. We can get it a little faster. damage to the trailer. Oof. But we did save a lot of time on our journey. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder if that was a fault of the AI or fault of the fault of the trailer pack. I'm not sure, so we'll do another quick delivery, see if we can run through another Checkpoint, toll booth, and we shall see if we get stuck again. I mean, it might have been something daft like me getting too close to the vehicle in front. Confused to the AI a little bit. I don't know, we'll find out. There's measly winnings. Uh, and we'll do another very quick drive. Uh, where are we? Let's just stop that. I'm just going to take a break off. In round. Cargo. Go 
but nothing's coming because we're on the red light. Like... <laughs> the poor Robert is about to attack. Slowly. <laughs> Be chosen, I just clicked to be out looking. Ice cream. Oh. That's not too bad. Could be worse. Could have been coal or gravel. Those things I hate delivering because this thing is for coal over the place. I'll wait again. <laughs> ready to pitch his way forward. Not a tank of fuel, so we're okay. And we're on green, he's got around. until we got to 100% safety and bounced me out. <laughs> 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 flying across the map, landing the parking bay. <laughs> you're, su you're successfully landed at your destination. Thank you. Ah, uh, that was along as fast as we can. We don't have a police to worry about, so that's good. We don't need to worry about speed limits. Uh, we don't need to worry about getting fined for cars running into the back of us. Which is also good. Well, what we do need to worry about is going too fast and tipping the truck. before he pulled out, which is good, and here we go. Another tall booth. Fingers crossed we get through okay, if not then... It looks like the pack will be damaged and we'll have to think about taking it off. Thank you. 
Tips up slowly to the gate. Gate raises. Hmm, that's okay then. Well, that one worked. Just kind of a good thing. I wonder what it was, right? just like one up glitch. Was it too close to the car in front? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what I'm gonna do when I've uploaded this video is I'm going to upload a very, very quick uh, video from the Trend Simulator. Uh, it's something that I noticed this morning when I was just playing around. Uh, basically, I was just working out which routes I could do, which routes I couldn't do, and what have you. And I, I set the speed a little bit too high. Didn't notice how I had set it. And all I'll say is something odd happened. So, uh, check it out after this one. It's the currently the only train simulator video I've got on there, and it's probably the shortest train simulator video I've got on there. It's only about a minute long or something, so it doesn't take too much of your time up. Hey, you can check it out and see what happens. It's quite funny. Time we'll do this delivery, then I'll sit back getting some more done in the background. Getting the worst on me out uploading to YouTube. Uh, give a level, level higher a little bit. And we'll see if we can start taking more, more difficult trailers in. I said, uh, stick, uh, stick what you want to see in comments, uh, trend simulator or farming simulator, and I will do a series on those as well. How I'm planning to do farming simulator, well, uh, I don't know, you don't want to sit there for like 18 hours just to watch a field grow, even I wouldn't do that. I do have a mod where I can increase speed and basically the speed is like, I think it's 12,000 times normal speed with the mod increase. So we don't have to sit there all day and wait for fields to grow. Uh, I will have it s I will have it s Set up more or less ready to run from the start. I'll make sure there's a good bit of money on it and whatever. Uh, but I will be starting all the fields from scratch. <laughs> I'll make sure all the grain silos are empty and the usual starting stuff I'll have got rid of. <laughs> In favour of some slightly more modernized equipment. That's the best way, the best phrase to use. Uh, with Trend Simulator, I've got a lot of the DLC packs. I've got the Virgin Trains pack. Uh, you know, the Tilting One B. Normal tilting the advanced train. Uh, Pacific Surf Liner. Uh, the Ice Train, you know, Ice 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Basically, I spent a small fortune on the DLC, so I got quite a few tracks. So if you want to see any of those, then it's Trend Simulator 2013 in comments, <coughs> and if you want to see even the 
pleasant, I think it's pleasant view map, version 4. Then, filming simulator in comments. If you don't stick anything down, then I'll just keep sticking up uh, the Euro Trip videos <laughs> because if you don't say anything different, I assume you just want to keep watching these. Yes, I know some of you are bored, and there's a few of you but never bother making comments and stuff like that. But like I said, you can't stick on what you want if I don't see what you want. Okay, so now that, now that bit's over with, let's see what else. No, nothing else. Apart from really looking forward to making a few more vids for you lot. It's fun driving around in a truck all day. But the interesting thing about a farming simulator is that sometimes uh, you get truck packs on here with like combine harvesters and little mowers and stuff like that. And they actually look identical from the ones from the games. You can sit there and think to yourself, hey look. That's my combine harvester just being delivered. <laughs> That's my little momo. <laughs> That's my tractor. You can pass up here with some with some sunflowers and go, I just planted that. <laughs> I suppose in a sense it sort of adds to a realism in a way. It feels like you're passing your own farm. Single lane, slow truck. Mm, looks like there's a train on the back of there. And he's turned off. Oh, that's pretty much a little look as he goes up the street. Mm, a silly car. Don't you realise when something very large stops? It doesn't just magically start flying away like a rubber band. Unless it's a dread. <laughs> so we've got 130 kilometers to go, we've got a nice windmill up there. Working windmill as well. That's not bad. He's got a weed from me, Fob. Train carriage. Mm. Really looking forward to getting to level ten. Get a new engine some new deliveries, some new stuff to drop off, especially if his cargo pack seems to work okay. I think my incident earlier at the toll booth was probably just a little glitch, or because I tried to sneak past the other car even though it had stopped. If the barrier hasn't registered, two cars tried to, tried to go through too quickly or something. I don't know, is that this one's been almost flawless. And the traffic's still behaving, so it's looking very stable now. I 
think they may have cracked it with this one. I mean, to me now, the traffic does feel realer than ever. There's certain cars which will let you out, certain cars which won't let you out. Uh, they'll behave in a completely different way. To me, it doesn't feel artificial anymore. That could also be because I'm just used to seeing it now. You know, it's been there so it's been there so long. Uh, I've seen them on so many drives. But you expect them to behave in a certain way. And it's only when we don't we do something really stupid that you turn around and go, oh this artificial intelligence is rubbish, it doesn't work. Right. Until you do see them do something daft. Or you see them glitch out in some way. Then I think they tend to feel that they shouldn't be all working okay, even if it would. It's something in a sense your brain's just learned to accept. That's my opinion anyway, I could be wrong. Let's try and fly up here. Get out and walk alongside it. <laughs> Could use this for up. We didn't roll back. I've had that happen to me before. Pick up cargo from the quarry, get off up a hill and not move any further. <laughs> Two ways to solve that problem. Number one, drop your cargo, cancel the delivery. Or number two, my favourite one, is to jump to a carriage, get prepared, your trailer follows you. And back. This is Mr. T in his 18 one. <laughs> <laughs> he's staying well back from me, I think he's following me. Yeah, tough, I'm going a bit. Yeah, 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 I'm not waiting for you. No, they're del deliberately staying on that side of the road so I can sneak past you and sneak in here. I need to want doing that. But it doesn't mean we can't still get past you. It just coming to me out that lane. <laughs> we got 19 kilometers to go. Yippee, we've almost done it. So it looks like the first one was just a little glitch. I'm not sure how many times it's gonna happen. Was it a one-off? Was it my fault? I would need to... Oh! I don't know if that was good on brakes. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, I would need to at least try and recreate that, so heavy traffic, moving two cars in front of me. Pressurise the car up front into... Basically trying to move him forwards before he's ready. Right and right. <laughs> oh, my garage is still good. Very heavy traffic. Looks like it could almost be a rush hour traffic. It's just everybody stuck at the lights. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna hit red for me, and I need to be just across the road from them. Oof. Shut I don't think he even noticed. 
<laughs> nope, he didn't notice. That's good. And that's me saying the perfect room. Oops. Not the perfect thing was what I would have hoped for. Stop quick. watching check out that little train sim train sim video and stick on comments what you'd like to see farming simulator or train simulator 2014 and thanks for watching subscribe if you want i'll stick more up and bye for now